Hey guys, this is Rajiv Kistu from WordPress Profit Systems. Thank you for taking the time to watch this video today. What we'll show you today is how to install WordPress, how to clean uh, unwanted widgets, how to change the WordPress theme, adding a new plugin and most importantly adding the all-in-one SEO plugin. We'll try to keep this video less than 10 minutes so that we don't get you bored or keep it sweet and simple right so let's just get into it straight away right so um, first of all um, I have bought a domain called itsecurityexplained.com don't ask me why but uh, this is a domain that I bought I mean I didn't buy it right now but I bought it a while ago and I wanted to use the same one to show you how to install WordPress right um, one thing that I need to let you know is I buy my domains on mix.com don't ask me why I just love it because it's so quick it's like when I use when I usually get my midnight ideas I buy my domain and I can have my blogs or my WordPress site up and running within 10 minutes right usually I've had bad experience with other other um, service providers for example when you buy a domain name from a UK based registrar like one and one or um, um, one two three reg for instance when you buy a domain a dot com domain there and then you ha you want to change the name servers it takes about 24 hours or even 48 hours so it's a real pain so this is why I buy my domain on miss.com and I buy my hosting with justhost.com miss.com that the domains this domain will be hosted on justhost.com right okay so next thing let's go and have a look at the domain um, here you go so itsecurityexplain.com forward slash cpanel will bring you here now um, if you're using hostgator or you're using just host you will see a cpanel that looks like this or even bluehost right and cpanel is just the back end of your domain how do you get there let me just do that very quickly so that you you know what you're doing right so if I type cpanel after my domain this should give me a place like this is where I land right so this is the cpanel okay so this is my cpanel um, this is where I need to look for the fantastic application that we use to install WordPress it's called Fantastico Deluxe. Here it is. So let's just click on that. Um, that brings us to this page and as you can see with using Fantastico you can install applications like Drupal, Joomla, PHP website etc etc but we are interested with uh, WordPress. Where is WordPress? Here it is. Okay so now click on WordPress and we'll do a new installation Okay, now if you wanted to, for example, install it on uh, itsecurityexplain.com forward slash blog, then you would enter blog here. So it could be yourdomain.com forward slash blog, then you would enter the directory name here. Uh, make sure you don't put any slash before or after, otherwise it wouldn't do it. And then you need to put your username and password. So for that I will use admin admin and your email address and um, the site name I won't I'm not really bothered with that right now because we can change it later I'll click on install WordPress okay hopefully there's no errors uh, yes there's no errors here let's say finish installation tell me it's done um, install WordPress excellent so it has been installed and you say send email to my email so basically uh, it has sent all the login details and the configuration details so now how do I access my WordPress blog let's just go on itsecurityexplain.com we should see our new WordPress installation woohoo that's done 
Right, so next thing, uh, how do we access the backend of this freshly installed WordPress instance? As you can see, this is the default WordPress theme, pretty cool. And you will see Meta on the right. So all these recent posts, recent comments, archives, categories and Meta are all in widgets. If you don't know what it means, don't worry about it right now. So how do how do I get at the back of this installation? Very simple. As soon as you've just installed it, you just come here on Meta and click on Login. As you can see, it puts WP Login here, right? So if you remember, we put admin admin as username and password, right? So let's just get in. just a few secs until we get in the first thing that I'll do is clean according to my if I've got good memory uh, first thing that we'll do here um, is look for the widgets that we don't want and remove them what do I mean by that so let's see um, itsecuritexplain.com. Let's see how it looks right now. Say from the front-end perspective, I want to re remove the recent post or I want to remove the meta. Right, so I'll come to here, I'll come on appearance and click on widgets and then I'll see all these widgets here that I'm not using is these are available widgets and then these are the widgets that are all being used as you can see here there's the search that's here and then you've got the recent posts you've got recent comments so recent posts is here recent comments so say I needed I wanted to remove all these widgets that I want I don't want on my website I'll just come here and drag and drop it here sweet done right say I want to remove recent posts as well drag and drop it and it's done fantastic so now I need to say go back here and refresh and see what it gives if it's really gone right you see so I've removed all these widgets from here so now what I would like to do according to our plan for today I will go and look for um, no I need to change the theme so I'll come on appearance click on themes okay and I just need to look for a theme that I like right so in this case um, click on install themes these are the free themes that are available on the WordPress installation itself now if you're looking f uh, you want to buy a premium theme you can always do that but right now let's just look at some featured themes so you've got loads of them and I think I like one which is the green theme so let me just wait wait for them to load I uh, can't find it right now Okay, so this one looks pretty cool. This platform one looks pretty cool. 2010, this is the original one that we saw earlier. Um, okay, so let's just, for the sake of it, let's just do try this one. Install, and click on Install Now, and you need to activate as well and it should be done okay excellent this platform has got loads of um, features that you can customize etc so you can take your time and play with it even you know it's the first time I'm seeing that one so it's always good to see the new platforms and the way they work you can experiment etc but the basics are always the same so for example here I can see that you can change some colors etc etc 
so I would I would encourage you to install this theme and play around with it for example you know you can change the content color content background color from white to I don't know if you like pink there you go um, body background color uh, whatever you know black or something it might look horrible and it's got a uh, Twitter integration here as well excellent I'm liking this nice nice one um, so yeah let's just go back and check what it has done I'm sure it's got worse but ooh, that was bad I'm not very good at graphics but yeah it was just to show you that how easy it would be to just change the background and change the background of the the theme and the background of the page as well so here I think it was white so we'll leave it to white I think it's white is FFF something right so let's see if that changes anything I'll save options okay so I have just showed you how to change a theme that's pretty easy now um, if you want to change the theme again from that you can always do it just go on appearance go on theme and select any theme that you like from here so for example there is one theme that I like um, it's called the green theme I think let's just type green and see what comes up green aside oh yeah here it is I like this one so just to show you how to install another theme again I will install that one quickly and then we'll show you how to install new plugins so we'll activate this one and hopefully you will see the green theme being activated so let's just go back and refresh woohoo right so we've got the new theme here so my next uh, in the next step what we'll show you is how to add a new plugin right so we could be adding a plugin for for example an SEO plugin a video plugin an audio plugin whatever plugin you know it might be security we'll be, we will cover all that in the next videos but for now let me I think we've done our 10 minutes but very quickly I'll show you how to add um, any plugin that you would like so in this instance we'll do uh, add a new plugin called all-in-one SEO uh, all-in-one there you go all-in-one SEO plugin this is one of the most popular um, all-in-one SEO pack here it is it's one of the most popular SEO plugins no I don't need the importer I just need the all-in-one SEO plugin Here it is it's very good for install uh, for search engine optimization right so we'll just click activate plugin right so all-in-one SEO must be configured go to admin page blah 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 so obviously uh, you've just installed it but you need to do the configuration so when you come here you know you have to do the basic um, give this IT security explain.com this is what we do here you know you need to write all that and write your your keywords your home description and then on every page that you post you will see that you will get all these details that you need to fill in and this is how it optimizes we will cover that in more details later on but for now um, we have shown you how to install the WordPress site how to change the theme and how to clean the widgets and how to to add a new plugin in our next session what we will show you will be let's just do that quickly 
So in the next session, what we'll show you is how to add Google Analytics plugin, how 